Hey guys and welcome to day 15 of your fossil advent calendar. So in today's episode I'm going to be talking about trace fossils. Now I usually refer to body fossils which are the remains of an organism, whereas a trace fossil it's evidence of a biological activity of an organism. So there's a slight difference there. So trace fossils there is no part of the organism there, it's just evidence that they existed. So for instance footprints, there's not part of the organism, but we know it existed because we can see its tracks. So you can see really nice examples of, for example, dinosaur footprints along the Jurassic Coast or in many localities. And uh, I think these are a really nice example to really get an idea of what these creatures were like when they existed, because you can see like just how large these creatures were by their spacing between their footprints. I think it's cool anyway. But along with footprints you can also get other forms of trace fossils. So coprolites is another very famous example. Now this is another word for poo but uh, also very useful for organisms and it, tell it tells us that that organism existed without having to see evidence of that organism. So very useful as well. And another trace fossil is burrows or borings. Again tells us there was activity here of some form of biological origin of an organism without actually requiring that organism. So trace fossils are also really cool forms of fossils so I thought I'd give them a video as well. So I'm going to show you over the next few parts of this video some examples of trace fossils and we can go through them together so I hope you guys enjoy. So I thought I'd start off by showing a locality found in the UK in Dorset. So this is at Keats Quarry and we can see the footprints left by a group of dinosaurs called sauropods. Now there's quite a lot of tracks here and you can see them as these kind of circular indentations left on the rock surface. And uh, I have got a closer up image here so you can see them a bit better. But um, it's really cool to kind of see these and imagine what would have been all those years ago. And uh, the amount of tracks we think indicates that it was maybe a sauropod kind gathering site, maybe to do with water, that type of thing, because there are quite a lot. And then I've also got another set of tracks here to show you guys, just to kind of show the variation in types. So we can obviously use the tracks that are left to work out what the organism kind of looked like and an idea of its size. And then another trace fossil I thought I'd talk about are burrows. So this image here shows very large burrows made uh, called Thassinoides, Thassinoides, something like that. My pronunciation is probably a little bit wrong, but you can see the size of it using the lady for scale. So they're quite impressive and uh, quite a sight to see. And then I wouldn't be talking about trace fossils if I didn't get onto the topic of poop. So here are some coprolites. So um, we can use different types of coprolites to get an idea of what type of organism created them. So um, I don't know lots about coprolites, but I'm pretty sure that sharks have a twisted intestine. So their coprolites tend to have this kind of twisted shape um, but I'm sure some of you know a bit more about that than I do. I'm not a poop specialist yet anyway. So um, yeah, we can tell a lot from trace fossils, even though we don't have any actual part of the organism preserved. That's all I got for you guys today. I really hoped you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe. I'll link all my social media down below if you'd like to check any of those out. But thank you so much for watching. I really hoped you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll stay for more. So thanks for watching.